Check in people, want to go on viewers and subscribers and you don't know all the things going on, respect our manners, you see it? We there again with another quick one as usual. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell. Don't go around the thing, don't ramp with the thing, as you may say, you don't know the thing, serious. Big up to all of you there from early out as usual. So watch what I go on, we have a number of things to talk about, some serious things, you see it? We see where a, a video circulates social media where a brother a call out, dancehall artist squash, you see what I say, a call According to him, squash and him people and borrow X amount of money from him for him get bail from jail and right now them no want to send on the funds and the man a talk up a bag of things people even Chronicler and Jamal and also Big Vice and them and the name came up in the conversation Bobby Six and Shelly who is squash man a get the flame as well people very interesting you know, go on to hear all of that so stay tuned we also see where a popular producer met in a serious accident people we are going to look into to what I go on there so and speak on that as well. You see, so stay tuned for that. We also see where Queenie Lady Gangster, you know, is on her way to recovery and we see a video circulate the internet where she depp on her hospital bed and she utter some speeches to the ones them with her fans them. You see also we see where you know Mr. Kitty who said he is the ex of Miss Kitty, he is weighing in on that incident where a 16 year old girl was killed by her ex-boyfriend people you see it and it have a number of interesting things to say about that so we are going to check out that as well and when it comes on to dennis meadows the politician from the pnp party who made a speech about um scamming and would away him support and say him now have a problem we see where him come out and I make some speech you know kind of leaning it to the JLP party saying that he respects the PNP party and Mark Golden for take action and condemn the action of what him did say but he is saying that if it was the JLP party and Andrew Moniz administration he would still be there they would have support him said we however we also see we are fans of Dennis Meadows from down in the Trilania side, I say right now, I made us them a work with anything else, can't go work. You see what I say? Not even Mark Golden can't come run down the side with uh, made us have to run the place. So, where can we see what I go on, people? As we say, do the right thing, subscribe to the channel, and also click the notification bell. Make we go into it. Respect and manners for all of you check it out, checking out the channel, and all of you tuning in already. Make we get into the vlog, people. What have these vlog people? We see we're a popular producer, country hype, you know, seemingly. Met in a serious vehicle accident, my people. You see what I mean? I say, yeah, man. We see we are uh, we we see videos uploaded to country and Instagram where you know him uh, give thanks to Ja say him basically you know all right after meeting in a serious accident. We see where it seems as if me not really sure the car brand it look like a Porsche and another car lick up and it look like country hype was either one of the passenger or the driver of one of those cars people we see even pictures of him in the hospital i don't know the seriousness of the extent of the entertainer injury still you see what i say but at the end of the day we know say life is there and that is enough to give thanks so you see what i say people and you know the incident look like it happened overseas. You see what I said? That kind of look like somewhere in America. I don't know if it's Florida or where people. Based on how I see on the screen. But you know, you know, can't see say it's a you know a, a serious accident. You see, but as you say, give thanks no life was lost. You see what I say? And we have to just say oh, bless up country I said we is it. Yeah man, bad producer and we don't want nothing to do the producer around here said we is it. So that and that still as it people we just have to go into the update said we. people we have amidst the rumor and speculations as to the health of Queen Lady Gangster people. You don't know Queen of the Gangsta, you know, internet sensation, ever the on the internet are going with a bag of things. You know, a lot of people subscribe to our, you know, channels and what she are dealing with and so forth. You see what I say? No, we don't see where Queenie fell ill the other day and was rushed to the hospital. You see it? And a bag of people are seeing a bag of things. You see what I say? People go as far as to a diagnose her with all sorts of different, different diseases and them and a doctor. You see what I say, people? But watch what I go on. We don't see where a video uh, circulate of Queen Lady Gangster and she is saying that she had her way to recovery. You see it as you can see on the screen. You see what I say? Yeah, man. Mama still in her hospital bed, but you don't know. It seems as if she did her surgery and it was successful. So, yeah, recovery mode, Mama. In her. I am not sure 
what are going to be the vibe and the energy because as we say queenie is a very vibrant woman so we don't know if when she forward out she has got depth and that level of movements they are she has got just kind of like clutch back and just you know go on easy back and do her thing still but we are watch what go on still people you see when i say mama say a queen we have said we and i go on with a bag of things said we so that is that tell me what you think though next up people we are talking about squash six bars now you don't know squash i do him thing over the years you know at uh, uh, it's not nothing new for your ears squash name in a certain and certain type of energy said we you see what i say but you don't know in a last year him name did a ring on a level and it seems as if one of the time him did drop a jail and so forth you see it but after him drop a jail and found out him did just kind of go quiet and kind of off of the radar and we never really to hear much of squash i hear anybody say anything about squash but from the other day squash step out back and drop a couple tune him drop one when he me even spooky we are going in a bag of things i think it even a trend number one pan youtube and they are saying that he might gear up for drop all him album and them thing there now when i see an individual come out brawling people and the man i deal with squash and him family and him entourage wicked people according to the man the man says him them lens squash about three hundred thousand. i am not sure if a jamaica or us or if i not squash him lens a squash family but there is something he's saying about bill people and he is saying that he want back him money and them not saying on back him money and he might talk about certain style where them have which me personally now i go even repeat it me i go make one here but he is showing out some very serious allegations out there about who get killed and you know who are threatened for kill who and bag of things and you know about chronic law and big vice and who bad mind who and so forth people the man i show him face when i talk so at the end of the day me now have nothing to say about just listen and you know you can tell me one thing after you listen but take a listen at what this brother here say and tell me what you think my people because it's serious 300,000 and women then borrow 270,000 from me if you get boy out of jail. And then they borrow 15,000 from me again if you go take man out of jail again. And the last Sunday before me left, 15,000 more again them borrow. I mean, me can't get back for my money. Me can't get back for my money. Suck on the mother man, no 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 six, no 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 body, I pay a beg on a beg and I pay a barrow on a barrow and have a pit near hungry a yard man. And the mama they hungry. Bad, bad top. Not have a food and yard. I mean I do this because I want to know if it begs, I make one wrong move. Because me know how to get back my money out of nowhere. I know how to make you feel to get back my money. You hear me tell you? Suck on the mother squash and squash mother go suck on the mother. Them boys they love sweets and blood clots. You know love sweets and beggy beggy now. And I want to buy liquor for myself. I'll pay it even tea for you, them things. And borrow the you, them things, and no man can say nothing about you. No man can say nothing about it. I pay that on the door, and when you look on the use crap and kill the you, them. If a man lend you no know money, or lend you know something important, and a man begs about you, and you use crap and kill them you. And when Big Vice did attack, you know, I did pex when Big Vice attack, you know, you. Me did bex your bumbo clout. I not tell no lie. Me did bex when big vice attack. Then when me look, me see say, I see him thing. You no come and try to do yeah, with me. Yeah. Eh? Shelly, you no can't get, remember you tell me say, you no met big, you and your son, you met big vice family them dead at Costa Rica. You can't do my family them, so you know. You can't do my family them, so because Jamaica the whole of it. I mean, you know where you love run, go go hide. Hotel rent. Well, every hotel got, got a camera and then got your blood clot picture and for your god they now go trust so they go know your son appear for your eye. And you can't get nobody else to rent in Jamaica. And you can't take no plane fly go on a small island go hide because you don't have no visa. And they tell everybody around the world so you have visa. You don't have no visa for going away, man. You don't have no visa for going away. So you can't go up a little hotel up a Brandon Hill go hide. A little cheap hotel. I know it to me know everywhere. 
So I only for just start this styling. That's why I do this because I want to not feel bad. Because I want to know so the people them know so I borrow my money and I pay me back. And then I want to know start war on top of it. That I want to know to do. Start war on top of it. I want to blood clot, beggy beggy. And look how long I want to from the end of November. Yo, dog, I send my money to the man because I am thinking to go deal with it. Send me money, me am thinking to go deal with it. I want to do be a whole lot of money can't reach. I'm telling them, say, all right then, I'm going to take it to your life then, and then I'm going to make we start the war then, you know. And what I want to do, feel that I don't know nothing. I don't think I don't know nothing about you, know. So what I want to do, blood clot, laugh and take it for fun. And I stop praying the youth them over these things, and stop praying next artist them. And go look through and squash. And go look blood and go put in the work and tap blood clap bad mind in you them. Tap bad mind in you them and go look work you. When you grow same like when you mama. Only thing Bobby six worse than you ma exactly in mother. Cause I know the mama they sell the pussy a back road, but you want can borrow money. From him man beg him man. Him not tell us the bigger brother say yo He man sell pussy around the back road here <laughs> When he nah talks on the man sell pussy around the back road And the tune where Cranit law do a salt say salt y'all that up is Shelly Cause Shelly try to get the dog pussy and dog not take it You see me? Bad mind, can't it like thing bad? Every day them get up. Them blood clot shot, chronic law. And they pan the boy name. And then they lead on to Tommy Lee name. And then they lead on to TJ name. And then they shot Jamal Dunsman for no reason. And Jamal Dunsman a boy will rate them and respect them. And then they pan the man name every day. Shelly Bill Bill fake phone number sitting. And I text me like a German man. I mean, I get mad and I get corrupt. And one girl saying, said to Shelly, say, Shelly, stop do that. Stop do that. And he still continue to do it. Suck so, on the mother, man. All youth where they say six and you know, grown squash them and we learn about them. Or make them make you and them a chat and see. Anything you have them want it for borrow. If you don't think I'll lend them your things or lend them your money, just watch what happens. You know, a dead man if you don't talk. But me and a boy with them, the blood clot boy, they can ramp it. They hear because I don't have to send man to go do nothing or send a man for no program. You see me? All six suck on a mother, man. For my team, not beg. For my team, not borrow. My team not beg and not borrow. You hear that? Suck on a mother. Brawling. I make the world know so no beggy beggy. I know for the youth them want to kill. I know for the youth them want to say I'm infam. Nothing no go so. Nothing no go so. Nothing no go so. You know, borrow the youth, the money, and you take something for the youth, them and the youth, them and say, Yo, I go on for the thing. I want the thing, you know, in a dog. I want to do, start giving the man them bad vibes. Thank you. Eh? <laughs> I think I'm stressed out. I pressed him. I want to start giving the youth them bad vibes. I'm a one and I'm telling myself, Give me my money. I want to hear. And you know, tap your son, you know, done. You hear that? That me, I tell you, no pussy. You know, done. And it's not done until you pay me my money. It's not done until you pay me my money, dog. And I'm last word that I have to say to you. It's not done until you pay me. And everybody I got here with their ears now. And I don't know life. I don't know. And next up we have Mr. Dennis Meadows, people. I don't know Dennis Meadows came on a eat after making some speeches as it relates to chopping and them thing there but we see where mr meadows you know forward back and i give a speech and he is skillfully 
trying to deflect his speech and argument towards the JLP said way. Boy, politics not easy, you know, people. And does this just show me how the politician them skillful. But according to him, he is accepting the blame and you know making it known that he make a wrong talk and him also appreciate the fact that Mr. Mark Golden took action and so forth. But he is saying that there are certain posts that him still was so even though him kinda like get you know removed from certain posts, this is not an invitation for the JLP feel like them can get too comfortable and can come claim where him a run off people, you see what I say? Because basically, him a say subliminally, him say when the street like for here, and he is saying that him know say where him a say the street are the truth. So, where him a say in the street are the truth in the street. So, therefore, you know, him know say for him things safe and secure. That is what I must say, basically, people. And outside of that, as a matter of fact, I could take a listen at what Dennis Meadows is saying, then we get to the other reasoning. Check this out. I want each of you to be an evangelist to take this out. What am I about to say? I will preach it. I just left the leader's office. I had a meeting this morning with, with, with Comrade Leader. And he explained to me why he acted. He did have to explain to me because I am a student of politics and we all are. Yes. Don't it? Yes. yes. And therefore I understand that when certain things go wrong, yes. one has to be held accountable in the interest of the party Jamaica and the greater good yeah. and that greater good I'm talking about the principles of what is right and what is wrong, wrong. what I said although it was a section of a greater speech yeah. but that little snippet alone yeah. even when I saw it and it, hear it I cringe I don't feel like me talking. Right. Right? As I said to the leader, he asked me if I had a little drinks before. Yeah. And I said yes. yes. And I did have a few drinks of vodka before. I know. Yeah. So in making a point about scammers must scam the government. Who is scamming them? Choppers. Yes. The choppers. Yes. I went too far in making that point. Yes. And one thing you learn as adults. When you do something wrong, you hold yourself accountable. And I accept full responsibility for those words that came out of my mouth. I was trying to send a message to let to the choppers and say, don't allow choppers to chop on you. Right? Don't allow the government to exploit you. Because I saw a check. I saw a check. For four, the member that sold the, the, the yes, that's all that. yes, yes. A four hundred thousand dollar check came to me that Friday. Yes. Right? In that yes. person's name. Yes. And the person came to me to change it. Yes. And he told me that twenty-five thousand of that check is his. Yes, yes. And the rest must go back to yes, yeah. the camp the JLP campaign yes, yes. in in the yes. And there were many checks like that. Yes. One point five five hundred, you know what? Sure. Right? We were operating a campaign that was awash with cash. It's true. Corruptly spent to induce votes from the very same choppers. And therefore, I took a decision to, to address that issue. But I went around. I said some things that should not be said. Yeah. More so out of my mouth. Right, right. And we must take full responsibility. Yeah. I told the leader that I understood his position and in fact I commend him for moving with alacrity to hold me accountable. Although I do said to him I'd rather have an opportunity to resign. I was prepared to resign his act. But he said he wanted us to move quickly. And therefore I slept late. And they were trying to reach me. And therefore he had was to move. Yeah. And I commend him. Because what he suggests. And the People's National Party is a party of integrity yes. and principles. Right. If I had said the same thing on the other side we are coming from, I would have gotten away with it. Sure. 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 So, so, corporate leader acted the right way. Right. I'm disappointed, yes. but I'm not bitter. 
Yes. I remain the chairman of this constituency. Whoa. I remain on the yes. ground. Yes. Yes. And who knows? Yes. Who knows yes. what come out of that? Yes. Listen no more on that. Yes. But I'm going nowhere. Right. Can you live on to think that that is going to be can get me me? I remain here. Yes. Until the victory and the PNP is a turn to Northern Chile. Yes. Only this morning, only this morning they sent somebody to the peace on the wall. What day they broke our office? The night before election, they broke come with Mark Campbell office where we meet sometimes. Yes. Right. We we see the emergence of a kind of nasty politics. Yes, yes. Right? start a wreck. Like this woman got called to her. Yes. And I got mixed in my words with the top. Right? We, I have run here three times as JLP. Yes, and we have never seen that kind of acrimony yes, yes. and nasty politics, yes. even when I was running against one of them. Yes, yes. We had harmony. We ran a good campaign. Nobody not showing nobody flyer. Nobody not burning nobody else. Right? But understand, nobody, nobody, it's got in Nyos as comrades the victory in this constituency. God bless you. People, so that is what Mr. Meadows is saying. You know? And as we say, what Mr. Meadows is saying, probably in his view, he is saying that it connects to the street but at the end of as a person where in a certain position whether the argument connect to the street yes or no you don't know so you can't say certain things else you are going to be reprimanded so i saw the thing go but what you are going on now people with us where the streets we see a individual ironically the man in a bright green shirt so a lot of people are say him a labor right and a disguise but he is speaking about dennis meadows and he is saying that everyone deserves a second chance and a meadows the thing that meadows capable of running down which part them there in a trilani people no second guess he is saying that not even mark Golden them on a voting down there so it have to be Dennis Meadows so make we take a listen at what this individual is saying and you can tell me if you don't agree with the man yes or no my people so check this out if there is no, no Dennis Meadows there is no vote there is no PNP there is no Trelawney seat for PNP I never care about politics until Dennis Meadows come to Trelawney and saying run for PNP yeah. you understand Dennis Meadows is a man who reach out to the people them and listen to the people them yeah. and even though he don't have the money to give to the people them at the moment he come and he listen and he do what he can do and he beg and try to help who he can help you know me no need anything from Dennis Meadows I'm a businessman but listen what me I say Dennis Meadows know how politics is and he's not in the the, 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 the quote unquote politics thing what we used to from back in the days he's dealing with the things that the people want or him to deal with the people's national party is what him a try for reinstate in Chilani so that we can get back with seat the way how we used to have with seat no if there is don't know dennis meadows there is no vote there is no pnp there is no Chilani seat for pnp you understand what i'm saying and this is what i'm saying dennis meadows has made a mistake and he has admitted and apologized for his mistake I see Donald Trump is a 90 indictment and he's still res running for the president for the most powerful country in the world. People are doing things and all he's saying that, listen, we might not be able to stop you guys from doing what you're doing, but don't buy no gun with it. You understand? Use it and take care of your family because he's not able to stop them. And America is trying to stop them, but America is not trying to stop the things that are happening in America. Because the same thing is happening inside of America. And America cannot do anything about it. So I don't see why we should penalize our own choice of candidate. Because he speaks something about... And I mean, let's look at it. America promotes freedom of speech to the highest level. In other words, they make it, make it an amendment in their country that each person have the right to speak whatever is on their mind he did not tell anybody to go out and chop he never tell nobody to go out and scam he never tell nobody for, but he said listen if that is what you are doing don't use the money to uh, commit further crime 
You understand what I'm saying? So I don't see why so much pressure on Mr. Mark Golden. Listen, I have a lot of respect for you. A lot of respect for you. And I enter this thing here because Dennis Meadows said, listen, I'm going to support Mark. You understand? And I am very disappointed of your first action, boss. Your first action is what I am disappointed as. Because to what I understand, Dennis Meadows was not being contacted prior to he being removed as caretaker of the PNP party. And I'm not in agreement with that. I believe that everybody deserve a second chance and everybody deserves to explain themselves. If, if, if Mr. Golden want to run for Chulani right now, I wouldn't accept him. We want to give Meadows a chance. Meadows, we want to give a chance. We will have you, Mr. Golden, as the Prime Minister of Jamaica because I believe in you like that. However, I don't want anybody or anybody of your choice in Falmouth. In Chulani, we want Dennis Meadows. That is the people. Yeah, my people, so, you know, under that speech, comment section, I got hard. Some people are angry, some people are saying nonsense, this brother talk. But let me know which side of the kind of the pan. And just to finalize thing, people, we'll see where Mr. Kitty is reacting to the 16-year-old girl that got executed. And him have some stuff to say, you know, he is really more relying on the old time days and also the eastern side of laws them you see he's saying that he believe in a even fixed marriage and them thing there because nowadays you know what are going in the western world yeah the, most of the relationship them not successful them not work the girl them have some different type of mentality and so forth so you know him have some very interesting things to say so we are going to take a listen at what he is saying and you can tell me if you don't agree with the man and him saying Yes or no. So make me check it out, people. I wanna tell me what it is. By her ex man. Wanna hear what me say? Sixteen years old. This little girl in Westmoreland. I walk with an ex man. Go up on her veranda, go sit down and talk to another man. And her ex man just come up. I'm bullet the two of them. She dead. And the next man where she ever talked to or fraternized with. The next man a buckle for life. This young girl is 16 years old. Me can't repeat myself enough. 16 years old. And two man a war over her. In normal times. Back in the normal times, when females were not let loose and wild, a 16-year-old girl, the hunger man she would have known about, would be her book, her pencil, her pen, geometry set, the teacher and the chalkboard. But nowadays, nowadays, when everything upside it down, a 16 year old girl who is supposed to still be a virgin, a changed man, and have man of war over her, and a choose all man with gun, illegal gun, gun man she there with, that the man come shoot she, and shoot the next man, for whatever reason, whatever the reason, no 16 year old girl have any business having two man a fight over her. Of course, a little 16 year old can be in school and have a little boyfriend and so. But you're not supposed to be sexually active. Back in normal times, when things were not topsy turvy, when everything was not upside down, a 16 year old would be under the control of her parents. And in fact, let me tell you this. Let me tell you something. In Jamaica, a 16, 17, 18, 19 year old girl is her parents who would choose the man for her. The boy parents, the boy's parents and the girl's parents would come together and say, all right, no Anita get big because she named Anita. But I don't even know because some people say she named Tara Dennis. Some people say she named Anita Dennis. 
So you can't even know her name. But the two parents would come together and say, Boy, I need to get big now. And our man named Cliffy. The one who shoot, do the shooting, he named Cliffy. But my name not talk about that. I am talking about when things were saying in the man woman department and in the man woman world, our parents would choose for us. And it still happens in many countries where parents come together and say, all right, Jane get big now and Tom get big. Make we sit, put the two of them together. And you know I know something? It sounds stupid. It sounds foolish and far-fetched. Don't. Don't it sound stupid. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. In these places where what is called arranged marriages take place, those arranged marriages are a hundred times more successful than marriages that are born out of love. Because this damn foolishness where me I walk down the road, you I walk up the road, and we buck up and we fall in love. What, is, what are the chances of that happening? And now you never walk down the road or up the road again. Now you, you go online and you see one picture of somebody and you swipe left or right and fall in love. We don't know nothing about each other. We don't know nothing about each other parents. We don't know nothing about each other communities. And that is why in countries like India, China, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Japan, Israel, Iran, Indonesia, and several other countries, many more countries, where arranged marriages are still taking place, those marriages last forever. How do my things say the couple's miserable, but not? They are happy and the marriage they work. And it used to happen in Jamaica too. That is what used to happen in Jamaica. Both parents used to come together and put couples together and it used to work. But we move away from that and follow European and American customs. Where two people are supposed to just buck up in each other and fall in love. And this love is supposed to keep them together. Well, obviously that isn't working. Obviously that is not working. Because there is no parental control. And that is why Tara Dennis slash Anita Dennis. That is why she lied down in the mark today. Because she let loose. If you choose one, two, three, four, five, six men at 16 years old. We need to go back to the traditional values. We need to go back to what worked. We need to go back to the moral kind of behavior and conduct so that you don't know, have a 16-year-old girl around up and down have sex with all kind of man all over the place. 